it was the one species of fish that Jose Wahebe pursued more than any other. There he is, there he is, there he is. <clears throat> I saw that fish come up behind it. Craziness, absolute craziness. In 16 years of the Spanish fly, he did over 30 shows fishing for them. Oh, you wow. gotta be kidding me, look at this thing! <laughs> and it never mattered about the size. It was about the hunt. These are our future big tarpon. You know, beautiful little creatures. Nice, happy goodness. A, a little tarpon, there's something super magical about them. From a young age, the tarpon fascinated him. So it was fitting that in April of 2012, Jose would shoot the last show of his life, stalking one final tarpon. This is that show. If there ever was a fish that was, that was made for saltwater fly fishing, it's the tarpon, you know, because they eat little flies. They're found in shallow waters uh, where, where fishermen can target them. They're, they typically swim in beautiful places, you know, and, uh, and when, you, when you get lucky enough to, to make contact and stick a hook in them, they reward you by a very usually visual show of jumping all over the place and giving you a good fight and a good run for your money. It really, it, it almost, you know, it seems like a ridiculous amount of work to go through to get that hookup. But when you make that hookup and stuff, you know why, you know, you go through all that. It's worth it. We're both kind of excited, right? I'm so pumped up. I bet. You have no idea. Hey, you have all those flies that you tied last night? I, I got them all. Okay. I got a pocket full of them. Come on. All right. You know what, I love those mornings where there's so much humidity and there's a little bit of a kind of a stickiness to the air. You know, when you wake up and your armpits are kind of sticking to the sides and the bugs are biting you real bad. It's tarpon time. It's tarpon time. <laughs> the only time in life where I actually look forward to seeing bugs. Right. You know, it's the only time you'll hear somebody say that. And only and, a tarpon fisherman yeah. will say that. Yeah. You know? It's funny how those things are all kind of correlated, you know, mm -hmm. they're really it really works out that way. One of the things that I admire and respect is guys who are absolutely passionate and, and, and want to learn about the things that they're really good at, you know? And Jeff is one of those guys that, you know, he studies those tarpon so, so much. The tarpon is my favorite fish to chase because of all the different opportunities and scenarios we can find them in. It, it, it's a giant fish that brings himself into very shallow waters, very fly fishing friendly waters. I'm okay. digging it. I'm digging it. I like the fly. And I like that hook. The tarpon too hot. Must yeah. add. Yeah, that's my favorite tarpon hook. I think one of the greatest rewards uh, in tarpon fishing, especially for a fly fisherman and especially with early fish, is that, you know, you've spent the whole winter you know, not tarpon fishing, right? And so you know what that spring into summertime transition is gonna bring with regards, you know, to, to these massive schools of, you know, 40 to 140, 50 pound fish come into the area that eat these little flies. So to get that first wave of fish in, whether they bite or not, you know, just the anticipation, it's pretty exciting. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the season. You know, it's the first time you get to go back to the, to the game of hunting tarpon on the flats. He rotated. Good, great cast. Nice and smooth, long and smooth. Here we go. Yeah, good job. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 mommy! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <sighs> that was a killer eat. That was a killer eat. That was pretty eat. good. How many casts did we make that fish? Half that was dozen? like number five, six? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Good work, oh. man. <laughs> That's it. That was awesome. Oh, good Lord. That was good, man. That's a, it's a hard thing to describe to people what tarpon fishing is all about. Uh. Fly fishing for tarpon, you know? It's a hard thing to describe. Jose Wahebi always made time to make fishing dreams come true for kids facing incredible challenges. Yeah. Oh, man. That important work will continue into the future with your help. When you contribute to the Jose Wahebe Spanish Fly Memorial Foundation, 100% of the proceeds go toward making fishing wishes come true. That's a big barracuda. <laughs> wow. Visit josewahebefoundation.org and see how you can help his great work continue. Helping to sustain the Spanish Fly through the years, our sponsoring partners, the Florida Keys and Key West, under Armour and Mercury Marine. This Florida Keys moment is presented by the Florida Keys and Key West. This is kind of like uh, the first doorway to yeah. the islands. They're gonna come straight in from the Gulf here. You can see the tide line right here. Yeah. And this is like the interstate. Yeah. And I think this is the first rest area for them to take a break. You mean that basin back this in there? This little basin right uh -huh. here. You can see how the incoming tide, it would kind of catch the current. Yeah. You know, it's gonna push some bait up in there as well. Oh, guess what? And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the channel. Okay. He is in the channel. He's in the That's channel. Right. Well, you can see like, there's the open Gulf. It comes straight up into here, and this is where it starts dividing and filtering into all the different bays and That's islands. And absolutely right. And so it's just like it's a it's a funny thing. Just like the fish in the Keys, they take the main highways first from the open water, you know, and then as they get comfortable in those places, they start subdividing into the little basins and things like that. In the Keys, it's easy to see a tarpon. Really, you know, the water's crystal clear. They swim over shallow water. Oh, look, there's a hundred-pound fish. All right. Um, here, you're not hunting for a fish, man. You're hunting for a little tiny sign that says maybe, question mark, there might be something there, perhaps. Kind of, sort of. Here's the deal right now, Hose. Yeah. We can't see the fish in the water unless they break Obviously. the surface. Yeah. So, it's all about that fast, quick cast getting to it. Here comes one, 1130, coming at us. See him pushing? Up there. Yeah. Just give yourself time. Are you hooking to the right now? Then when you finally kind of see the somewhat maybe shape of a tarpon in there, now you gotta figure out, well, which is his head? Is that his head or is that his head, you know? Straight in front of you, straight in front of me, about 20 feet, there's a dark spot right there, right there. You see it, right? I see it. I can't tell direction, that's the problem. It can be a really challenging way to fish tarpon on fly because your windows, your casting windows, are they're tiny. It's a tiny little window in that muddy water where it just kind of, you know, and the fish kind of sees, imagines something nearby and makes a response to it, you know? Hey, he's, is that him right there? That's him right there. That's him right there. Right. He's looking at you. I see him. Oh, boy. Over his tail, partner. Oh, God. So sorry, bro. That's okay. So sorry. <sighs> there you go, man. It's all right, brother. I love this game. Whew, damn, son. Well, right now, this game kind of stinks. I, I mean, I made a great cast to his tail. This fish is absolutely maddening because how close we can actually get to these fish. Tarpon for fly fishermen especially early tarpon in the season, can certainly be one of those fish that you love to hate. What's this orange thing here? Go for the one you can see very well. Yeah. Oh. This is when you start hating them. They can make you hate them. Oh my goodness, you have They can no make idea. you hate them. <laughs> it is a love-hate relationship. Uh -huh. It's the fish you love to hate. Mm -hmm. Saltwater Tackle Box, The Mentor, is presented by Plano Tackle Systems, America's favorite tackle boxes. All right, there's a lot of sight fishing that we do uh, 
on these smaller boats where you know there's a guy pulling in the back and there's an angler in the bow and typically the higher up you are the easier it is to see in the water so we use a lot of casting platforms uh, there's some platforms that are fixed to the boat I personally prefer to use a cooler because you know that way if it's a windy day and you don't want an angler standing up on the on the casting platform you literally you can take it off and put it back uh, in the cockpit and it becomes a cooler again. A couple tricks to it though, uh, especially if you're fly fishing, uh, when the coolers come out, they come out with the handles this way, right? And so you can see when you latch them, you, ha you have a place right here for the fly line to catch. So there's a little trick that I learned from the guys at Yeti to turn these things around so that they become kind of a smooth, uh, flush sort of mount there that the fly line won't catch on. Very simple, all you need is a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. This little pin here that's on the side of the cooler, you just get it out away just enough to grab it with a pair of pliers. You get your pliers around it and just kind of wiggle it back and forth, it comes right out. Then you simply turn the latch around, put it back, right back into place, put the pin back in, and then all you need to do is just put your pliers on there and give it a little thump, and there you have it becomes a nice little flush uh, mount that your fly line doesn't catch on so that when it's in the cockpit it's a cooler that keeps ice longer and when it's on the bow as a casting platform you can stand on it because it's wildly stronger. This would be time for one of those bigger flies. Hey, hey, right here, right in the mud, right in front of you. 15 feet away, see two feet, no, 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 nine o'clock. A little farther, see him? 10 feet left? Not even. Yes, that's perfect. Strip it, strip it, strip it, strip it. I think it's below him, I don't think he sees it. Slam, go ahead, move it, move it. Dude, that's just wrong. Try him on the other side. I think he's... Yeah? No, he's definitely facing he's left. Here he comes. Strip, strip, strip. Got him. Good. Bow. Oh. <laughs> Dad, <got> it! <laughs> Why don't you stay stuck? <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> and that's the nature of tarpon fishing. They just get off sometimes to the point where you know the measure of the success of a guide's day sometimes is not how many fish they caught, but rather how many fish they've jumped. We jumped 10, that's a great day. This is a hard game. You get more defeat than you get success. And even if we don't even land it, if we just jump it, so just to watch that enormous fish jump out of the shallow water, I think that's what drives me to do what I do. And, it never gets boring. I love it and every time is just as exciting as the first one. The Road Less Traveled is brought to you by Costa Del Mar. See what's out there. So this is your shop where you do all your tinkering yeah. and engineering and everything? Yeah, that's what things happen in right here. I try to figure it out in here, how to do what to do and all that sort of stuff. Uh -huh. so. Holy moly, Come look on at this. In here, buddy. I got your reels right here, buddy, them blue reels you wanted. Oh my goodness. And these things, is, uh, hopefully you're going to get you a big old tarpon or try anyhow. Yeah, no doubt. And it's if it's you don't lose them, it's not going to be their real fault, so you've got to be careful. Yeah, I, I, I have full faith in your engineering work, Teddy. Mm -hmm. How many world records do you have on your fly reels? Well, the last we counted, we had well over 700, you know. And, and, uh, world records. Yeah. Caught world, on fly. Caught on fly. I, Teddy, I am so infatuated with these reels. This is the, the, the latest one, which is called the, the Tarpon. And it's the, the biggest one of the fleet for right now yeah. in, in the it's signature a, it's series. It's 11 and a 12, you know, we yep. call it 11 and 12. You very nicely put my name on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> come with the reel. When you buy the reel, you, yeah. send, you send the plate back, yeah. and then we engrave it for free. For free. Yeah. That is a work of art, my friend. And you remember how this color came about? 
I had yeah. flown with the Blue Angels know, one time. I know. And I then know. I had talked to you about giving right, them a set of right, reels. Right. And then I we said, why don't that. we make it the colors of the jet? And you know. That's and what, no, that's how they came about. Yeah. Blue that's Angel what, Blue. Yeah. Thank you very much. This is a work of art, and My I think pleasure, you're buddy. an amazing icon in the industry of fly fishing. You know, Thank you should you, be host. proud. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Always an essential part of the Spanish fly family, our sponsoring partners. Costa del Mar. Yeti Coolers. And Shimano. That for a guess. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and work it. I think he got it. All right. All right, buddy. <laughs> How was that for a guess? I, like I said, just drag it by his nose. <laughs> Dude, this is so much fun. Why don't you ask that tar from that? <laughs> He's jumping for joy. <laughs> Ah, that right there is the greatest reward, I think, in fishing. Life is good. <laughs> I like seeing my friends catch fish. Dude, are you, I'm you so know? happy right now. You have no idea. Look at that. Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on. Just crank. Okay, I'm going to go with the fish. She's wrapped up in the line, huh? Is she? Okay, that's good. Listen, Jose Wahabi is so good, he lassoed the fish. <laughs> There's no way. I think I'm gonna have to have you come back. All right, buddy. Okay. This is a tough fish. I know it, I know it. I know it, Bo. <laughs> it's hard releasing it's these It's hard things. to grab onto the tail. I know. She will not open her mouth. There's moments when you're like crapping yourself. Me? <laughs> me. <laughs> she won't let me get a good grip on her. Got her? Got her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first one of the new Biscayne, isn't it? <laughs> nice, baby. I guarantee you that thing was hooked in the mouth because you remember all the jumps? Listen to this. The I... line was coming right from his mouth, and somewhere in the fight, that hook came out of his mouth and luckily, luckily, uh, set in the dorsal. Look right here. There's a hole right there. See that? Oh, that's where it was. That's where it was. That's where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that for me? Oh. You know what? He's not huge, yeah, yeah. but it's just like, it's just <laughs> awesome. Uh, Look at that. You got him good? I got him Do you him see good. that? You see how I just barely <laughs> touched right that out. thing and it fell right out? Huh? <sighs> on Teddy's new reel? Yes. On the new T-Bor and the new boat? This is the first tarpon on this boat, and I couldn't have think of oh. anybody better to catch it with than you. That's awesome. And there yep. she goes. See you later. Thank you so much. Sweet. I love it when a plan comes together. Well hunted, huh. well fished, well everything. Dude, that Good was job. that was uh, that was so oh. rewarding. You have no idea. Oh, you want to bet? <laughs> That's the first tarp into the season. That is my first tarp into the season. Mine too. You know, the greatest joy though, I mean, it's one thing when you just see them and stuff and see them clear and you're out there. It's another thing where you're playing that chess game where they, they're making that one move and you pull you're a little closer. You're moving your eyes yep. with him and how he's moving. Yep, and then you get a little closer and yep. he makes one little roll and then you see the little bubbles and you try to memorize that spot where it is and then you don't see him for another you know minute. You get the boat close and you take a guess shot and that line comes tight. That heart stops. That is rewarding. Great job. I mean, that was a long cast of everything. <laughs> Great work. Uh, I'm a happy camper. 
<laughs> I think you are. Ah! So much fun. Nice, happy goodness. Life is good. You know, I, I just think that it's, it's the old adage to me that a trip is not getting the target species just necessarily, but also kind of like the sum of its parts. You know, what did you do? What cool things did you see along the way? What, what did you do to kind of, you know, make up for what would bust typically some other people? Uh, they kind of either give up or, or, or fail to have a good time because things aren't going exactly the way you would hope for. You know, it'd be great to come in there and have five excellent days of tarpon fishing. It just doesn't happen that way all the time. You know what, you get one or two in there, man, and you manage to, you jump a few and you, you manage to catch that one. You know, sometimes catching less fish, you know, and it being more frustrating is more rewarding than catching a whole bunch of them because you had to work at it. You know, there's days that they are easy to catch. You know, you throw a fly out there, they spin around, glunk. There's a zillion fish everywhere. But the ones that are really rewarding are the ones you really have to work for, you know, and, 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 and you know, use everything that you learn over the years just to make that one catch. And then you take that one catch and the sum of everything else that you did with, a, with somebody that you call a friend, you know, and it's a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good uh, few days in the, in the glades. Good.